So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you three great rune farming spots within this snow area meaning you don't actually have to get down to uh, the Mogwin Dynasty area to actually use these farms and earn a great amount of rune farms. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe now before we push on guys today's video is sponsored by instant gaming if you guys do not have Elden ring or are looking for other gaming titles at a discounted price look no further than instantgaming.com instant gaming offers you all of the best gaming titles on every platform at a reduced cost it's as simple as searching for your desired game choice selecting the platform and hitting that buy button. You are then given that digital code to use on your platform. But wait, it gets better. Check out Instant Gaming via my link to be entered automatically into winning the game of your choice. It's that simple. Again, check out Instant Gaming via the link pinned at the top of the comments section and also at the top of the video description for all your gaming needs and gaming giveaways. Okay, so there's plenty of room farms in this game, but I know many, many players um, can't get down here yet within the Mugwin Dynasty area. They messed up the white face via quest line or they're having other issues. Uh, so, yeah, there's a few actual other room farms you can use. I wouldn't say they're as efficient, they're as great, but they are nearly as efficient. You can earn millions of runes use, uh, using these methods. And today, I will showcase exactly where you use these three spots. Okay, so the first one, guys, we are in the mountain tops of the giants here. You can see where I'm at. I am at the uh, giants' grave post grace point, which is right there. I mean, if you come up through the um, ground lift of road, you actually make your way around here anyway. So, yeah, you'll get here eventually. You can see where, exactly where I'm at. That big chain right there. And this is where you want to go. Now, I am going to showcase you. Now, yeah, firstly. This is not a new game plus. This is my first playthrough. Uh, to be honest, I'm finding no reasons why to go into new game plus. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But hey, yeah, this is my first playthrough. But I am gonna use uh, my golden scarab, and I'm also gonna use a gold pickled foul foot to see exactly how much I get from these individual rune farming spots. Now I've got 29,000 runes on me. I mean, I'm just gonna kill myself because I want to get um, an exact amount. So yeah, let's get rid of these. I'll leave these where they are. And sh this well, basically shows you exactly uh, how many you'll get from each of these uh, farming spots. Again, if you are playing a new game plus, you'll get double, triple, whatever. So from this uh, giant's grave post, this is what we want to do. Now, this is obviously all three of these farms actually should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, revolve around you jumping off the map and basically swinging that weapon. So you need to have a weapon, you need to have your horse and you are good. So yeah, come this way around, just follow where I'm going. You can go up there or this way, it doesn't really matter. Watch the hands here. Watch those hands here, trying to finger yes. No thank you. I just want to jump down here, just like so. Oh yeah, or we'll try not to kill your horse. I mean, don't know what happened there. Probably should jump down to that ledge, but hey. Yes, I'll use you. And we want to make our way to this little frozen giant here with something growing out of his back this is where the goodness happens because you basically just from on here guys you double jump off literally double jump off and you're good now you want to delay that second jump by the way and i'll show you exactly what i mean i'm just going to use my gold pickled foul foot so let me just use you so we can see exactly how many runes we get so i'm just going to make it run for it run Delay it, jump, and then just swing. There you go. It really is that easy. You have to double jump. You have to have a weapon in hand. You have to be spamming that light attack. But delay that second jump. So we'll see now exactly how many runes we should get. I think about 50, 55% extra uh, with the God Scarab and the Pickled Foul Foot. God Pickled Foul Foot. But we will see. I've never really used them both together. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, if I need runes, I just go to the relic. Uh, well, I use the relic sword, and then I'll just go to the the hill from the Mugwin Dynasty area. That is still the best farm in this game. And it, it surprises me because obviously these still work after the 1.05 patch, uh, but they are nerfing rune farms. 
but they're keeping that one there. That's the most easiest, the most efficient, by far the most you will ever earn. But they're leaving that there. They haven't nerfed it at all, so it's weird why they're trying to nerf uh, these ones here, which are clearly exploits because what's actually happening here, guys, is I'm falling so far. So there you can see there, I got 75, 101,000 there. I think that was two ticks. I think that was two ticks. Another tick there, so 100 and another tick then. So I've got 115,000 here. That isn't too bad. Uh, I could from here. What I'll do is I'd actually fast travel straight away now back to that grace point and then just run back here and do it again rinse and repeat but again if uh, if you didn't know this if you use a gold pickled foul foot and you fast travel the buff disappears the buff will disappear so keep that in mind guys keep that in mind but actually what's actually happening there is you're falling so far uh, the swinging of your sword or swinging of your weapon cancels like the death animation uh, and then the flow up here actually despawns so the enemies fall down so all enemies in the area they fall down they die you get those runes simple as that simple as that so that's the first rune farming spot which is quite good now the second one is located right up here now the ordina this town you have to actually get the um the halley tree medallion and the one half of the halley tree medallion comes from an npc down under here which if I remember, I'll put it on the screen now, you, you spawn at this grace point, you run up the hill, you hit a basket, he gives you it if you speak to him. The other half of the Halley Tree Medallion comes from a boss up here. Uh, his name's Commander Niall or Commander O'Neill, I can't remember, there's Commander Niall, Commander O'Neill, I can't remember which one it is, but it's hard. But there's actually a glitch you can use, I don't know if it still works. It's actually, you can kill him by jumping off the map here and swinging, but I don't know if they've patched that. But when you kill him, you'll come behind him, you'll get the Halley Tree Medallion. Um, and there you go, you can come back down to the Grand Lift of Road. If you press left or right on your D-pad, you can then get access to the hidden path to the Halley Tree from here, guys. You can then just come up here. So that's where we want to go. So that's where we're going. That is where we are going. Okay, so once you are here, this is the town you want to be at. I just want to come this way. You ain't got to worry about enemies here because there are none. Well, none. But, uh, gonna kick your ass anyway. So, yes. The way we want to go is we want to go up here. But when you first come here, if you haven't been here already, this door will be sealed off. So, what you got to do is, guys, you got to come down here and come to this ever gel right here. Now, once you stand it and activate it, guys, you, I don't think you need a stone sword key actually. No, you don't. But if you do, use it, but I don't think you do. So yeah, once you actually go in, you'll have to light four candles in the area. Pretty easy, guys. You can't miss them. You ain't doing the time limit, so you're good. So there's one up there. There's one up there. There is one down these steps to your left. And I don't think it's there three or four. There's one in there. And I think there is a fourth somewhere. I can't really remember. It's been that long since I did it, but yeah. You'll find it guys, plenty of guys on YouTube as well. But once you do that guys, you'll be teleported back out to this area. And then you can make your way up these stairs. And once you get up here, there will be a teleport which will take you to the Halley Tree area where you'll fight actually millennia. But there's actually a room farm. The room farm is you jump off the map right here, double jump, delay that second jump, full swing, you earn those runes. Now I'm going to use another, um, actually how many runes have I got? 145,000. Let me just kill myself and get rid of them. Let me get rid of them. There we go. That's quick enough. So I'll respawn now at this, I want to say exactly how I think you may get here 150, 160,000. I think. With the, the two um, buffs applied. That's the gold scarab and the gold pickled foul foot. So I'm just going to pop it here. There we go. So yeah, from here guys, just want to run to the right of the portal. Just like so. Jump, delay that second jump and then just swing. And there you have it people, it really is. As long as you delay that second jump, you're fine. I mean, a lot of people would uh, apply the second jump way too early and you're just 40 death. 
and that's what's catching a lot of people out just delay that second jump and for as long as you can and you should be completely fine guys okay so i think it's about the same distance you fall probably a minute 45 seconds to a minute and again i'm not sure how many ticks of actual runes you'll get here by ticks i mean you'll see one instance of runes pop up on the screen it's obviously always a lower number and then you just get like a ton it could be it could be two or three i'm not sure I can't remember guys i can't remember where well, these still work i'm doing these now post after the 1.05 patch so these you can still use and abuse to get those runes people to get those beautiful runes what we all love come on give me those runes actually if you, if you may actually fall a bit longer here oh there, there's one tick Okay, so it's 144,000 I just got then. Remember though, that is with the gold pickled foul foot and the gold scout talisman, which I think you get like 50, 55% buff with them. Yeah, I think you want to get one tick from this, to be honest. I think you want to get one tick. So, yep, yeah, then it's simply, guys, flash over back to the grace, run back up here, rinse and repeat, guys. I'm going to run up there. I'm going to get my runes back. We don't waste runes in this house. We don't waste runes in this house, people. So there's one more rune farm in this snow area you can use. Again, you throw yourself off the map, um, swing, get those runes, and it's probably the easiest to do. Well, it's as easy as all of them. They're all easy. Let's not lie to ourselves. They're all super easy. Okay, so grab that. Now you want to come down to this cave right here. This is where you want to come. We're going to call it the Annex Tunnel. So yep, just left of this, come here. So you actually come down into the cave because you want to actually uh, you want to activate the grace. The grace is important because we're going to fast travel back to it. So from the grace point, guys, you want to jump on the lift and go back up. Go back up. So from the top, once you're here, guys, actually, you know what you want to do? You want to run back over that and send the lift back down. So when you fast travel back down, you ain't got to call the lift. See, smart thinking, guys. Smart thinking. Smart thinking. Have I got my runes still on me? I have. Um, but hey, I ain't going to kill myself. You'll, you still, I think you get about 80 or 90,000 from this. But you guys can do the maths. You guys are better at maths than me. I'm going to use another one of them. Just like so. And then from here, guys, just want to run to the right-hand side of this and jump off there really is that simple really is that simple so run jump delay the second jump and then just swing really easy what you're doing is you're jumping over the death barrier just swing and swing and swing that weapon now you can actually use any weapon but i always like a katana now it's just you can just swing it faster i believe probably a dagger probably be even better but hey it works it works so yeah, 290 odd thousand did I say I have? 285,000. 285,000. Right, yeah, I'm pretty sure here you get like, with both buffs it'll be over 100k. But I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure how many ticks as well out of ruins you will get from this. But we will see, we will see. I don't know who the first person who found this out about doing this exploit, but it's utterly crazy. The way it works, like I said, the, the, the floor despawns, which your enemy is sitting on, so they just fall to their deaths. How bizarre is that, guys? How bizarre is that? There you go, there's one tick. So that's about 90,000 then. I'm pretty sure you may get another tick from this. I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure you do. Because there's loads of enemies inside that cave as well. So you have to fall deep, I do believe, to even get them to die. But we'll go about another 30 seconds, see what happens. Now there is one spot I've seen where there's like four or five ticks of runes. I may be mistaking this one with that one, to be honest. This ain't looking that great in regards to getting more. So how much should I get then? If I had 295, I just got so I've got like 90. 80 something, 87 maybe. But yeah, 87,000. It's okay. 
it's definitely not the best today but it's super super easy and if you're in the area you want to get some quick runes to level up or whatever this is what you can do guys this is what you can do so yeah i don't think i'm getting any more from there then you just simply flash all back to this tunnel and rinse and repeat the process guys it really is that easy and well they are the best room farms within the snow area you can use and abuse guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people we'll see you on that next one